Okay, Steve Bergen here, and let's take a look at the multitasking tray. Some people used to call it the multitasking bar. It's invoked by pressing the home button or belly button twice. Click, click. And when you do that, you get a visual picture scrolling horizontal list of all the apps that are open in RAM. You can go quickly to one of those apps if you want to do that. So you could click on an app and you could get to it. Okay, if I click on it, I now have that app open and can I play with it? Click, click, going back to the multitask Okay, so now I'm at the multitasking tray, and we know we can go to an app. That's one value of it. I can get things out of RAM by clicking and just pushing up with one finger. If you're good, you can do it with two fingers. And with two fingers, I can get rid of two at a time. And if you're really good, you could try and get rid of three things at one time and I'm not really good so I can't do that. Why do you want to get rid of things from the multitasking tray? Well you want to get rid of them if they're buggy and they're not working or they're frozen. That's reason number one. You want to get rid of them because they're wasting a little bit of battery life and you may have a lot of things open. You don't have to be compulsive but every now and then you want to get rid of them for that reason. And now I'm very proud to show you that I am able to, with one hand, get rid of, oh, I thought I could, get rid of three of them at once. One, two, three. I can't do it. I did it. Yay. I got rid of three at one time. Okay? So you go to the multitasking tray to get rid of things. You go there to fix things so that that app will work again because that app is frozen or you go to it because you're very good at it and it's a quick way to get back to something that previously was open. Alright, Steve Bergen signing off. I hope that helps. Bye.